this girl cared for an unloved shelter dog. Then she got the shock of her life when her parents did this. Haley's voice echoed through the empty streets as she frantically screamed, Max! Max! But there was only silence. She ran to every spot they'd shared, her heart racing with dread. Where was he? Had someone stolen the poor dog? Was he hurt in an accident? Was he scared and alone, missing her as much as she missed him? Tears streamed down her face as guilt consumed her. Should she have taken him home when she had the chance? Why didn't she act faster? Why did she assume he'd always be there? The previous evening, Max was by her side, wagging his tail, showering her with affection. It felt like yesterday when she first met the sweet dog on the streets and decided to name him Max. He was dirty, hungry, and lean, with big brown eyes that melted her heart. Haley leaned beside him and offered cookies. Max devoured them greedily, his tail thumping weakly. Each day, she returned with food and treats. For months, she fed him, watching him grow stronger. His once matted fur transformed into a shiny coat. His eyes sparkled with trust. She took pictures and made sweet videos capturing their special bond. Max would sit on command, his ears perked up and his tongue lolling out. He'd chase after balls, his tail wagging wildly. As weeks passed, Max knew where to wait for her. He'd expectantly sit by the old oak tree, tail wagging, eyes shining. Haley loved watching him anticipate their meetings. Their daily routine became her favorite part of the day. She'd bring treats and Max would perform tricks. He'd snuggle beside her, his hat on her lap. Max brought a beautiful passion into little Haley's life, a sense of fulfillment she didn't know she needed. He made her laugh, comforted her when she was sad, and listened when she needed someone to talk to. Now he was gone. Haley's thoughts swirled with painful questions. Would she ever see Max's happy face again? Would he ever snuggle beside her? Would she hear his joyful bark? Before Max came into Haley's life, she hadn't been a dog lover. She hadn't known the joy and fulfillment that came from having pets. Born to two loving parents, Haley's life had taken a tragic turn when she lost her mother when she was just four years old. Her mother lost her battle to a terminal illness, leaving her father Lance heartbroken. The loss of his wife was devastating, and Lance became consumed by grief. He sank into depression, transforming into a different person. Lance neglected his daughter as he struggled to come to terms with his new reality. During this difficult period, his family members were supportive and helpful. They took turns caring for Haley, the little girl who struggled to comprehend the sudden change in her family dynamics. She found herself shuffled between relatives' homes, as her father was unable to care for her due to his grief and struggles. Whenever she was home, she witnessed her father stumbling in, reeking of alcohol, which further strained their once close relationship. Haley began to feel abandoned, wondering if her father still loved her. Her relatives intervened, reminding Lance that he had a daughter who desperately needed his love, care, and attention. This continued until Haley turned six years old. Lance remained trapped in his grief, oblivious to the devastating impact it had on him and his daughter. However, everything changed when he had a vivid dream one day, which finally opened his eyes to the destruction his endless sorrow had brought on his family. In the dream, Lance's wife appeared to him, radiant in a flowing white dress, her smile illuminating the darkness. He was stunned, having thought he'd never behold her warm smile again. Her gentle words pierced his heart as she urged him to heal and focus on caring for their daughter. She expressed her dismay at Haley's upbringing without her father's guidance, warning that the absence would leave lasting scars as their daughter grew older. Her words struck a chord in Lance's conscience that night. He woke up to a startling realization as if doused with a bucket of cold water. The dream had shaken him out of his stupor, and he knew he had to change. Overwhelmed by guilt, Lance broke down in his living room, where he'd fallen asleep the night before. 
Haley, who was crying in her room, was awakened by the noise. She rushed out to find her father crying. After their emotional exchange, she felt happy and relieved to see that the father she once knew was finally back. Lance kept his promise. He registered for therapy and counseling to help him face his grief. This enabled him to properly deal with the pain he'd carried in his heart for so long. Lance became more intentional in his relationship with Haley, spending quality time with her and showering her with love. Haley was overjoyed that her dad now paid her attention and showed her his friendly and goofy nature once again. Their bond grew even stronger than it had been before her mother's passing. They looked out for each other, and sometimes Lance shared stories about her mother, how they met, fell in love, and built a life together. He always made sure Haley knew how much her mother loved and cherished her. As the years dragged by, Haley and her father grew even closer. When Haley turned seven, she noticed a change in her father's behavior. He smiled more often, especially when looking at his phone, and began staying out late on weekends. As a perceptive and intelligent girl, Haley immediately suspected that he was seeing someone. Her intuition proved correct when Lance finally revealed his secret to her. Lance had met someone special and was nervous about sharing the news with Haley, fearing she might not approve. However, his concerns dissolved when he saw her genuine happiness for him. The following week, Haley finally met Sandra when her father invited her over for dinner. Sandra was warm and lovely, immediately putting Haley at ease. As they sat down to eat, Haley and Sandra discovered a shared passion for books, launching into an animated conversation. Haley appreciated Sandra's thoughtful approach, making it clear she wouldn't try to replace her birth mother, but rather was grateful to join their family. A few months later, Lance and Sandra tied the knot, with Haley beaming as the flower girl. The wedding was a joyful celebration, filled with laughter and tears. Their family and friends warmly welcomed Sandra, delighted to see Lance had found love again. Almost a year later, they had twin boys. Haley was overjoyed to have two younger siblings to play with, having always wanted brothers or sisters as an only child. She was thrilled when the twins arrived and eagerly took on a nurturing role. As the years rolled by, the bond between Haley and her brothers grew stronger. Whenever she was home, she'd offer to take them on strolls in their strollers, walking to the park and back home. It was during these evening strolls that Haley discovered a newfound passion, her love for dogs. Her late mother had shared the same affection for canines, and her dad had often joked that Haley would inherit this trait. For years, it seemed that the joke would remain just that, a joke. But now it was clear that Haley was indeed her mother's daughter. She lit up whenever they encountered dogs on their walks, eagerly asking owners about their breeds, ages, and personalities. Haley's fascination with dogs grew with each passing day. She spent hours watching dog videos and reading about different breeds. It was during that period that 14-year-old Haley met Max. One afternoon, while walking with the twins, she'd stumbled upon a stray puppy on the street. Moved by the lost animal's plight, Haley had made it her mission to feed the dog every time she passed by. Within weeks, Haley and Max had formed an unbreakable bond, becoming inseparable best friends. However, their joy had been short-lived. One evening, Haley had gone to feed Max, but he was nowhere to be found. She searched desperately for days, scouring the familiar streets, calling out his name. Overwhelmed with grief, Haley cried until her eyes were dry. Time slowly healed her wounds, but Haley never forgot Max's sweetness and the brief yet profound impact he had on her life. Haley and her family continued with their lives. The twins were growing up rapidly, transforming into energetic toddlers. At 15, Haley was thriving in high school, leveraging her brilliant mind to excel academically and consistently rank top of her class. Her father and stepmother were incredibly proud of her achievements, 
and continually encouraged her to maintain her excellence. During that year's Thanksgiving break, Haley sought a new experience. While discussing ideas with Sandra in the kitchen, her stepmother suggested volunteering at an animal shelter, emphasizing its value as a learning opportunity. Haley thought it was a fantastic idea and was thrilled. She discovered the Humane Society of Stillwater, a shelter dedicated to rescuing and caring for homeless animals. She registered to volunteer and immediately began. The people she met there were very kind, showing her the ropes and introducing her to the animals. Haley was fascinated to see so many animals at once, but she also felt sorry that they didn't have a loving family to care for them. Three days after she began volunteering at the shelter, Haley spotted a familiar figure in one of the kennels. Although he'd grown larger, Haley knew she couldn't be mistaken. She could recognize that canine anywhere. With her heart pounding rapidly, she approached his cage and screamed, Max! The dog turned instantly. He looked at Haley and then a look of recognition flickered in his eyes. He recognized her. Haley immediately opened the cage and Max ran into her arms. Haley cried tears of joy, overwhelmed with emotion. She couldn't believe she'd found her beloved Max, now known as Rambo. Haley learned that Rambo had been in an accident and had been rescued. She formed an even stronger bond with the dog, and the love was mutual. Everyone witnessed the deep affection between the girl and the dog. Every morning, Haley would visit Rambo, feeding and caring for him. She took him on walks and played with him in the park, creating a heartwarming connection. Their relationship resembled a love story, with Haley adoring the dog deeply. Soon she began to consider making Rambo a permanent part of her life. Haley asked her parents if they could adopt Rambo, providing him with a loving family. However, she was disappointed when her father explained that she couldn't have a pet until she finished college. Though saddened by this news, Haley understood that there was nothing she could do to change her father's decision. She decided to make the most of the time she had with Rambo. Knowing he was a sweet dog that anyone would love, she realized it was only a matter of time before someone adopted him. Haley continued to volunteer at the shelter even after Thanksgiving break, dedicating two hours every day after school to helping there. Lance didn't realize the depth of his daughter's relationship with the dog. However, Sandra noticed Haley's sadness after being rejected and paid attention to her. She saw that Haley's desire to adopt Rambo wasn't just a teenage whim. The girl truly loved the dog deeply. Sandra spoke to her husband about it, sharing her observations. She told Lance how Haley had grown close to the dog in such a short time and asked him to reconsider adopting Rambo. Lance was surprised as he hadn't realized the depth of their bond, given that Haley usually shared everything with him. Sandra reassured him, explaining that Haley's secrecy was normal for a teenager. Lance had assumed Haley's request was just a fleeting excitement about having a pet. However, after listening to his wife, he decided to conduct his observation and investigation. Lance chose to visit the shelter personally. One morning after Haley left for school, he went to the shelter, intentionally not informing her of his visit. He met the shelter's director, introduced himself and explained the purpose of his visit. The director smiled and praised his daughter's hard work at the shelter, commenting that Haley was very caring and empathetic toward the animals. She confirmed that Haley and Rambo were indeed very close, and their relationship was well known and admired within the shelter. The director then led Lance to meet Rambo. Lance was moved by the warm welcome Rambo gave him, despite being a stranger. The director explained that Rambo was equally affectionate with everyone else, emphasizing that he was a very lovely dog. Lance could see why his daughter loved the animal so much. He was also reminded of her mother who had a deep affection for dogs. He realized that Haley had inherited this love from her mother, and it deeply touched him. An idea suddenly crossed his mind and he smiled, sharing it with the director, who agreed that it was a wonderful plan. 
With Christmas fast approaching, Haley spent even more time with Rambo, knowing that the holidays were a popular time for people to adopt pets. She feared she didn't have much time left to spend with the dog and wanted to make the most of every day. Although secretly, she wished that no one would adopt Rambo until she was old enough to. Haley volunteered more hours after her school went on Christmas break. She spent her time playing with Rambo, teaching him different tricks, and caring for the other animals at the shelter. However, it was clear to everyone that there was something special between her and Rambo. Two days before Christmas, Haley was devastated to discover that Rambo had been adopted by a family. She was heartbroken, losing her appetite, but tried to eat to avoid raising questions at the dinner table. Her nine-year-old twin brothers attempted to get her to play with them, but she had no desire to do anything fun. Although she knew this day was coming, she still wasn't prepared to be separated from Rambo. Haley had no clue what was about to happen next. The girl who cared for an unloved shelter dog would get the shock of her life when her parents did this. On Christmas morning, Haley decided to put on a cheerful face for the sake of the celebrations. She didn't want to ruin Christmas for her family due to her feelings, so she pretended to be happy and excited. She left her room and went downstairs to join Sandra and her brothers in the living room. The delicious smell of cookies wafted from the kitchen, enticing her. She noticed her dad was nowhere to be found, so she asked where he was. Sandra explained that he had gone out to quickly pick something up from the store. They exchanged Merry Christmas wishes and settled down to watch a movie together. Her brothers laughed at the silly antics on the screen, and Haley tried her best to focus on the movie. Thirty minutes later, Haley heard her dad call out her name from outside. She assumed he needed her help with something and went out. Her eyes widened in shock when they fell on him. She couldn't believe what she was seeing. It was Rambo. Her dad held his collar and was beaming with a wide smile. Merry Christmas, Haley, he exclaimed. Haley finally found her voice and asked her dad what was going on. By then, Sandra and the twins had come out behind her. Sandra was also smiling, and she placed her hands on Haley's shoulders, revealing that Rambo was her Christmas present. They saw how much Haley loved the dog and decided to get him for her, because she deserved it. Haley turned to face her. Really? she asked, still disbelieving. Sandra nodded happily and told her to go meet Rambo. Her father leaned down to remove Rambo's leash, and the dog let out an excited bark upon seeing Haley. When the leash was off, Rambo ran to Haley. She laughed as the dog licked her face cheerfully, as if he could sense that he'd finally found a family with the girl he adored. Haley scratched his ears and laughed as the dog circled her chirpily. Overjoyed, she thought it was the best Christmas ever. Haley ran to her dad and hugged him tightly. Thank you so much, Dad. This is the best gift ever, she exclaimed. She was overjoyed, having feared she'd never see the dog again. Lance laughed and told her to take care of Rambo, as he was now her responsibility. Haley nodded and went to hug Sandra as well, thrilled that Rambo was hers. Her brothers had already begun playing with the dog, throwing sticks for him to fetch. Haley joined in on the fun and their loud shrieks of laughter filled the air as Sandra and Lance went back inside to make lunch for them. She and Lance smiled and laughed at the kid's goofy behavior, delighted to see the big smile on Haley's face. Haley was overjoyed that Rambo was now a part of her family. The dog quickly became her loyal companion and the family's devoted guardian, bonding with everyone and protecting them. They all continued to live happily together, surrounded by love, laughter, and the joy that Rambo brought to their lives. What do you think about Haley and Rambo's connection? Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.